Hello my friends, this is Edward Mungai inspiring you to leadership and this week Victoria Lupadil is speaking to us and she's talking to us about some of the things, some of the gospel that I've been preaching to my friends. It is about all these nice things that you need to put in your life if you are going to get to be a success. Hi, my name is Victoria Rubadiri. I am a journalist based in Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, really excited to be able to share some of my insights and experience with the Edwin Mungai YouTube channel, and I hope people subscribe. It's a great, great platform just to get some inspiration and encouragement, and just to be uplifted. It's been a very difficult time for many people. Uh, I think like everyone else, <laughs> A day at a time, really, and I think that's what this year has taught us. Um, as much as you planned for things to happen, all of those things were disrupted this year. And so it really required us to take it a day at a time. Yes, it's good to plan ahead, but this pandemic was unprecedented. No one could plan for it, you know. Um, and so for me, at least personally, it's taught me to really be deliberate about the things I do in the 24 hours that I have. Um, and worry about tomorrow when tomorrow comes. Um, so for me, that's how I've really handled this year. And it surprised me, some great things have happened, you know, um, and that's due to hard work maybe from the previous year or just going out of my comfort zone to try new things. And it's yielded some really great returns for me this year. Routines. Interesting you ask that, um, and it's actually something I started about two years ago. Just this morning, I ran seven kilometers, so it's working out. I start my day in the gym, and I find it really helps focus me for the day. Once I've kind of ticked that off my list in terms of my to-do, I feel, all right, I have great amounts of energy. I'm able to get through the other tasks of the day much better. Um, my mind is clearer and you know you've done your body a good service you need to work out and especially now uh, in my mid 30s you know they say by this time you start to lose muscle mass <laughs> so you need to start moving so for me um, get moving getting the activity going in my life has really really helped um, and also keep my mental health together people don't realize but any kind of physical activity does help at least improve your mood. The endorphins and other hormones kind of kick up in your system. So you're a lot more positive for the day. And so when you tackle anything else you're doing in that 24 hours, you're doing it from a positive space, you know. So for me, working out has been amazing in helping me achieve quite a few things. My word of advice is that thing that you've been waiting to do, do now. And I was talking to a friend um, the other day. They were getting really frustrated with work. Things weren't really going the way they had intended. And so I told them, you know, what, what do you like to do? What is there that comes naturally to you that is authentic and unique to you that you can start doing even today? And so we went through a few ideas and all of a sudden after the talk that we had, they were so encouraged and they said, you know, I never would have thought about that. But because of one, having a friend like you who helps me see it, but two, this very unique time of a pandemic that has really kind of caused people to see things in a different way where everyone now is online, digital. So taking advantage of that space and that platform where everyone is playing, what can you do with that space? You know, what kind of income generating activities can you do on YouTube, for instance? So um, I would encourage them to think outside of the box. Don't wait. Uh, for a job to open up. No one is going to hand you anything. And I think this period has shown that you have to fight to get those things that you want in your life. So don't wait, start it now. And I'll tell you, by what is it now, November 2021, a year later, you'll be thanking yourself that you started. It may not be where it's supposed to be, but a year will have passed for you having started something right that you can now put back into yourself so I, I i would really encourage them to start right now the benefits of what you see and what you start will be amazing you have had it from victoria you know 
those are the key things that we need to have in our lives. May it be about routines, may it be about your physical health, may it be about your mental health, and it's also about just doing it. You know, we lie on our dreams, we don't take action. You have had it. It's about taking action, and in 12 months, then life will never be the same again. So please, take your action, and so that then you can be able to proceed to the next level. This is Edward Mungai inspiring you to leadership.